Robert Mueller faces scrutiny in Trump investigation after ties to Hillary go public. We are currently six full months into the Trump presidency. Much has been changing in this country, from health care, to immigration policy, to foreign policy. What has stayed the same, however, is the left's rapid Russia witch hunt. No matter how much evidence proves the contrary, liberals insist that the Trump campaign colluded with Russia before, during, and after the 2016 election. This, of course, is not true. There is no evidence that either Trump or any of his people worked with Russia to beat Hillary Clinton. Nevertheless, the left and its allies in the deep state appointed former FBI director Robert Mueller as special counsel to come up with something to hurt the president. The left is putting a lot of faith in Mueller to help their cause. What they do not know is that damaging information about Mueller's past has been revealed. This will certainly come back to haunt Mueller and his liberal friends from the angry patriot now that even some leading Democrats have begun to question the idea that Donald Trump and Moscow somehow colluded in order to win the 2016 election, the whole purpose of a special counsel seems moot. Furthermore, given Robert Mueller's past, one must wonder why he's even allowed to investigate President Trump. Back in 2006, the Justice Department found evidence that Mueller, then the FBI director, falsified testimony about the Bureau's surveillance on an anti-war protest in 2002. Specifically, the Dodge discovered that Mueller improperly opened and expanded investigations into certain left-wing groups via Mercury News. Mueller's bipartisanship seems doubtful given that his law firm worked with the left-wing Civis Analytics as recently as 2014 to 2015 via Got News. Many have also noted that Mueller has staffed his Russian probe team with many Hillary Clinton donors via the Daily Caller. No one should be surprised that Mueller is dishonest. After all, he took the blatantly partisan special counsel job, even though he knew full well that Trump did nothing wrong. What is surprising, however, is the extent of Mueller's dishonesty. Everyone knew about the Obama and Clinton operatives on Mueller's team. Patriot Journal reported on those revelations when the information became public last week. No one knew about Mueller's history of perjury, though. The FBI surveillance scandal was also kept secret very well. Apparently, then-FBI Director Mueller ordered several investigations that targeted peaceful anti-war protest groups. Mueller's FBI also placed numerous activists on terrorist watch lists, even if there was no evidence to support those allegations. When confronted by the Senate, Mueller gave a misleading testimony. He said the FBI was targeting a specific terror suspect at an anti-war rally, when the truth is that Mueller simply wanted to surveil the event. Indeed, Mueller is not to be trusted. Robert Mueller is a power-hungry crook who uses positions of authority to pervert justice for personal gain. Worse, whenever he gets caught, he lies about it. There is no way that this man has the capability to impartially investigate wrongdoing in the White House. The fact that Democrats are willing to tolerate Mueller, let alone believe his conclusions, reveals a lot about their character. Soon the American people will realize that the witch-hunting Democrats do not actually want justice. All they want is for Trump to go away, and they will stop at nothing to see that happen. Let us speak out against liberal lies to make sure they do not get what they want. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe 24 hours channel. Goodbye and see you again.